Well, good afternoon, everybody. We have some time because we got here several hours early. And uh, we're delivering to a Walmart uh, in Florida, in Cocoa, Florida. We are, I'm checking to see what this is. We are in Mims, Florida at the Loves. And we have to wait for six hours before we can go in. But we're waiting on a call to uh, get our trailer looked at. So we decided we'd probably make two or three videos because we haven't been making many videos. So which one would you like the first one to be on? Short one? Uh, sure. Okay. All right, we're going to do OTIF. Uh, explain what that is. So um, hang on, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Today is September 15th. Really? I believe so. I think so. Yes, it is. In, uh, yeah, it is. All right, please excuse us. It's been a while since we've done anything with our hair, pretty much, other than brush it. Uh, I'm looking salty. I need a good, uh, <laughs> a good cleaning up. Looking salt and peppery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She doesn't get the military term. Salty means I need to get my ears lowered or my hair cut. All yeah. right. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about several things. But first, before we go anywhere, we're going to post this video today. But we have the video that we promised that of a whole trip, several days. Uh, it just we, takes a while to edit all of that. This is our first time editing a video other than just putting it together and putting scene transitions. And... It's going to be long. It's going to be in three segments, two one hours, and I think one's like 25 minutes. So, because that's all the editing software will let us do. They're still figuring this stuff out. Yes. Yeah, there's not, not every time we stop did we record. The two or three times you see us stop and us not record, we just stopped, ran in for the restroom, grabbed drinks, ran back out. That was it. So you didn't miss much. But every time we stopped and we did something, we did record. So yeah. I'm going to prop my mic up here. We did order um, when I go home in November, when we go home in November for the truck show and all. My wife's going to stay home for a couple months, take care of some things at home. And I'm going to bring one of my daughters with me because she wants to learn how to drive. So she can ride with me for a couple weeks. Then she's going to go in for her PSD training. And I'm going to be her TNT trainer. Which uh, you may or may not get on the videos. So Cajun couple may just be Cajun him. <laughs> mm. And so um, we ordered a few things. Uh, we finally ordered our dual mic system. Uh, we got a small soundboard somewhere, which is really nice. So we might start recording with our laptop instead of with the iPad. Um, we'll see. Just, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, it's a learning process as we're going on. Um, if it was streaming a game, you know, I'd know exactly what I wanted, how to do it and everything. I have everything set up on my computer already. Um, talking about OTIF. Talking about OTIF. Getting back okay. on the subject. Do you remember what OTIF is, baby? On time or mess up. I don't know. <laughs> OTIF stands for on time in full. That means you them, must right? be on time. You can't be more than an hour early and you cannot be late. Now, OTIF, Walmart is not our only OTIF no. customer. We have Kroger. We have Albertsons. Uh, I mean, there are several that we have. Uh, that are OTIF. So when you see OTIF, you cannot be late. And we've seen a rash uh, 
on Facebook of prime drivers being late and saying, how do I fix this? Well, it's one of those things that if you didn't fix it before it was broke, you're not getting it fixed. Okay. How do you fix it? You have to add more time into your trip before to where you get yep. there early, but don't go in early. Your so. trip plan. When you watch our trip plans, the few videos we made of that, and when you watch the trip plan that we do uh, for the for the full haul, which, by the way, if you like that type of thing, let us know, and we can put those together um, We just can't on a regular. post them until after that trip is done. Right. Because that way it doesn't show real time where we are. Um, because that's a so, security concern because correct. a lot of trucks have been not getting hijacked but broken into. Right. All right. Um, so how you fix a no tiff is not getting one in the first place. And how you do that is plan extra time. Like not getting a service for We planned yeah. to be here six hours early we Actually, are here we planned to be here saturday night but then we got into some traffic there was a fatality with a truck that burned to the ground there was some bad weather we went through and then we stayed two hours extra in a spot the other day because we were trying to return one of our um Fios modems that didn't work in the truck back to Verizon. They say you can bring it to any corporate Verizon, and that was a lie. We can't. They said because it was bought at an authorized <laughs> retailer, we have to bring it back to the authorized retailer or pay the five hundred dollars for its modem. So we're gonna get back to OTIP because that's a sore subject. Yeah, that is a sore subject. <laughs> but we stayed a little bit for that and Correct. to pick up a couple of my medicines get some but we also realized that we weren't going to make it 24 hours early to drop at a drop door and have someone run it in who was local so once we realized we weren't going to make it 24 hours early we we relaxed a little. relaxed a little and took our time because at that point we're still going to get here six hours early and we're still going to be sitting here um but we're so not going to be dropping, no rush. grabbing an empty trailer, and grabbing our next load. Correct. Which we do have, by the way, is our next load. Good. Which picks up tomorrow. And we should be able to deliver it and have it on this check. So that's good. Yes. So. But for OTIF, you have to, number one, add more hours into your trip to make sure that you're near it before time to deliver. Right. Because you never know. What's going to happen? Where there's slowdowns, where there, where the speed, you know, I mean, your GPS software is going to tell you it's going to take 15 hours to get there, but it's not telling you in in this work zone it's going to drop down to 45 miles an hour for 10 miles. It's not telling you anything, and then when you have real time traffic, it's real time. It's not going to tell you. Oh, at 3 p.m. there's going to be an accident, and so you're going to be delayed for four and a half hours. It's not going to tell you that at 8 a.m. because it doesn't know it's real time. It's not pre-scheduled accidents. So the only <clears throat> way to help yourself in those situations is to have worked in those extra, extra hours. hours. Now, if you run into a spot where there's like what well, we ran into, if we had been closer and that fatality happened and we were sitting in traffic for five hours. What's the first thing you should do, babe? Call your FM. Yeah, speak a little louder. Call the fleet manager, please. All right. Exactly. You call your fleet manager you let, <laughs> or you message him. The best way is to message him through the Qualcomm or through the app while you're stopped in that stop standstill traffic. That way, there's a record that you got in touch with them. They're going to tell you, keep me informed. But it, then they're going to go right around and tell sales, this is a possibility. And they may open it up for you and be like, okay, look, as long as you show up before this time. Or, right. look, you or, know. Or, hey, you got two more days on this haul. This is going to make it way too tight. When you park tonight, we're going to try to find a team to finish this one out. Something, you know, but at least if you let them know when you see a problem, 
in what you calculated as far as you're running into more than what you can get there safely on time with, they can help you to figure out a way around it to where you don't get a service right. failure. Because it's a team. When you get a service failure, it looks bad on the fleet manager as well. So, or night coverage, whoever's covering. Now, when we say build in extra time, what we do is for every 10 hour drive shift, because we have to stop for the restroom, we got to stop, let the dog use the bathroom. We got to stop for our 30 minute. We got to stop for fueling. For every single drive shift, we calculate 12 hours. Right, instead of 10. Instead so of 10 you- or 10 and a half or 11. That gives us at least an hour buffer for every drive shift. Yep. Okay. And we calculate at 60 miles an hour. We have our trucker path set to 60 miles an hour. That way we get an accurate time as far as how many hours it's going to take us to drive because we drive 60 miles an hour. If you're using just a regular GPS or trucker path without changing it, it's going to go according to the speed limits that you're going through. So if you're going through Texas, are you going through, what was it? Utah was 80, I think. Utah was 80. Yeah. It's going to calculate at 80 miles an hour. You're not doing 80. You're not going to be doing 80 if you're working for Prime. At least you shouldn't be doing 80. (laughs) So always build in extra time. And to look at the backside of that, you're late. It was your fault. You didn't put in extra time. I know there was traffic. There was slowdowns and all. There were several things you could have done. You could have built in more time. You could have let your fleet manager know. They could have let sales know. You could have worked it out. And if you let them know early enough, they can work it out. Usually. Last year, we got stuck in a snowstorm. They shut down the interstate for 16 hours. We were on an OTIF for Walmart. They pushed it back a day. Yep. And then okay. we had that windstorm in Wyoming. Yeah. We had the windstorm in Wyoming. Pushed well, it back. Uh, we had an empty trailer. Wind gusts were over 60 miles an hour. We didn't feel like laying on our side and waiting for a tow truck to ride us. So we messaged in, told them we're shutting down, high winds. We don't want to get blown over for safety. They moved our pickup out 24 hours. Yep. So, I mean. You're not going to, you usually won't lose a load if you're trying to be safe. And it's better to lose the load than lose your life. Okay. Now, on, again, on the backside, you've already been late. You didn't let your fleet manager know. He couldn't let sales know, or you let them know too late. They couldn't let anybody know. Couldn't fix it, so you get a service failure. How's that going to affect me? Well, service failure usually goes on your DAC report, and it stays in the internal system. For prime drivers, you're going to have to start over on your PTC bonuses and stuff. So your prime time certified bonuses and stuff, start over. Sorry. Sorry. Um, it will stay with you for two years at prime. Then it will drop off. Okay. That is the norm. Some drop off earlier because your fleet manager leaves. Some drop off later. You know, it's, it's, but if it's still on there after two years, you can go in and talk to safety and, and your fleet manager and see about getting it removed on your DAC. It's there for life. But companies usually don't look at anything that's more than two years old. So you're good on that. The only thing they look uh, at over two years is, did you get a speeding ticket that was over 15 miles per hour over the posted speed limit? Did you get any tickets that were not considered misdemeanors or considered criminal? Now, this is negligence reckless driving, stuff like that, that will get you, and they look at those for three years. If you haven't done any of those for three years, you learned your lesson, insurance is, their insurance isn't going to go up for hiring you, so you're usually in the good. So, 
But also on the OTIFs, don't show up early because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm here. I'll just go in. Yeah. And that is almost as bad as showing up late. It is just as bad. Because you're going to get okay. fined. <sighs> and depending on the company, depends on how much that fine is. And, so and you're going to get a service failure. You are taking away your profits. And yep. a lot of people say, oh, well, I can get another load if I drop it. Yeah, but the amount of money you're paying for that, dropping early, negates right. getting the other load. Because Walmart is between 600 and $900 for their fine. And you get a service failure. For going in early. For Even going if in it's just two one, hours. One hours. minute. If it's an hour and one minute early, you get a service failure. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. How we figure is like tonight we have to deliver at midnight. Uh, well, actually one minute after midnight. Yes, that one minute. We're counts. not leaving here. We're 20, 20 24 miles away. 20, We're not 20, leaving 20, here like until 11.01. To make sure we're not leaving this spot until it's an hour early. Okay? Um, check your Google reviews if it says it takes an hour to check in and all. Our Which company. We'll look before we leave, though. Because right. if there's construction or anything that can delay us, then we'll leave at like 1030. Right. Something like that. You know, I mean, always look at what you're going through. If you're going through any kind of situation where you may run into something leave yourself a little cushion and most walmarts have a spot outside where you can park for a few minutes before going into the guard shack definitely park if you're early All right still. now if you're going to be an hour two hours early don't do it because a lot of these walmarts have patrols that come by about once an hour and they will give tickets to anybody sitting out on the road walmart tickets are expensive this. So, OTIF is on time in full, which means no more, not one minute more than an hour early, and not more, no, no late, none late at all. Okay. Not even a minute late. Not even a minute late. Now, some Walmart's will say you're not considered here until you go through security, come in and check in. Okay. Our company knows that. Prime knows that. Prime says when you get there and you put that you have arrived, that's your arrival time. Okay? That's what Prime says. That's your arrival time. All right? We understand that they want, but what if there's a line of seven trucks, ten trucks? So w this doesn't mean you can stop ten miles away and put that you've arrived so that you don't, you're not late. They also look at the GPS on there from the Qualcomm, and they match it. All right, guys? So that's the only way, the only way to stop from getting a service failure on an OTIF is to make sure you're early. Now, if it's not an OTIF load, you can call the receiver and say, hey, I'm going to be there 36 hours early, 48 hours early. Can you take me? A lot of times they'll say, yeah. And if they do, yay. In fact, uh, <laughs> the load we were on that mm -hmm. we recorded, we called and we we told y'all in the in the video, which you'll see, it's a three part three part. Sorry, um, they we called. They said, yeah, if you come in, we told them we're going to be in twenty four hours early. So yeah, if you come in in the a.m. check in, we'll get you in. Then did not happen. it did not happen. They were too busy. They couldn't work us in. They did not tell us that they were having trouble with their system. And it booted us out after 1 p.m. and told me whenever I tried to go back in and re-sign in and said, you're too early. Check in three hours before your appointment time. So three hours before my appointment time, I checked in. Didn't hear anything. Didn't hear anything. Didn't hear anything. Went to the restroom. Saw that they had the little, you know, check-in open. So I went and checked in with them. And they said, give me your paperwork, bring it back, we'll check you in. So I went back to the truck, come back, 
They checked me in one minute, one minute past our appointment time. And I went to go check because it was getting close to our appointment time. Then they told me, oh, well, you're going to be, you're going to be late. You're going to be a work in because you didn't check in before your appointment time. I'm like, I checked in yesterday. They said, well, when you check in the system, even though we tell you you can check in early, if you check in early, it boots you out. Then when you try to check in again, our automated system shows that you've already been unloaded. So it kicks you out again. Not my fault. Not Prime's fault. What did I do? First thing I did when I got back to the truck, grabbed my phone, messaged my fleet manager, who messaged sales. What was it? Eight minutes later, I got a call saying, you got a door? Go to yeah. this door. But the thing is, sales the caller was there. My Two driver days. was there. You need to get him in. Yeah. He is not late. We were there two days, though, mm -hmm. due to that. Yes. Thinking that we were going to get worked in early. But they had some cool places to walk to, so I'm not complaining. No. Nope. We did. We went, walked, mm -hmm. um, did, uh, shopped a little. And then we got this load, which has been a five-day load, right after, pretty much. It wasn't that bad. No. Nope. Usually, if we can find something to do. We'll just find something to do to distract ourselves. Which reminds me, after I post that other one, we got to go back and make a video of my birthday. What we did on my birthday. <laughs> Our friends that came with us asked us to not include one picture in a video. So yes. that's so we why we do haven't that. done it yet. Yeah. <clears throat> a little editing has to be done. But. Uh, if you have any questions about OTIF, yes, feel definitely. free to text me. My number's in the description. Uh, if you call and I don't answer, it's because I'm driving. So it's best to text me. You can email us. It's or, and as always, like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. It helps people out. And hit the notification bell so that you know when we post new videos. Is there anything else you want to add, baby? Yeah. Um, it's just something that for some reason is still having issues, but it's like they call it low-hanging fruit. It's something that we can all fix. Just Right. And I understand. I understand that a lot of these trainers will tell their trainees, sit in the chair, drive, follow the GPS, don't wake me up till your drive shift's done. That's for every company. That's every company, everywhere you go, that has training department. It's a, take it upon yourself if you're thinking about coming into Prime. And if you are and these videos help, please use our, our driver code when you call in and talk. In fact, I've linked my recruiter down below, uh, Jorge Rogel. He'll be glad to help you. I love him because... He doesn't BS you. He tells you straight, straightforward what, what to expect. But anyway, you know, we'll, it's we'll up talk. to you to ask questions. So if they're not trying to teach you, ask, ask, yeah. ask. If they still don't want to, you're supposed to contact your fleet manager once a week. Talk to him about it. Message him about it. The messages that you send your fleet manager through your app on your phone, your trainer cannot see the messages your trainer sends. You cannot, you cannot see. If you look, at, if you send it from the Qualcomm, anybody can see it. Now, every message is sent from your fleet manager back to your truck. Everybody can see. So, it's best to call your fleet manager if you're having a problem. If you yep. think that the trainer or the trainee will get upset Easy. if they know about it. So, yep. that being said, you are just as responsible for your training. I've said it before, and I'll say it a million more times. I know it over the years. You are just as responsible as your trainer for your training. So, speak up. Uh, and look up videos. And I mean, like this one, we'll title it OTIF. That way, you know, if you're looking for info on OTIF, it'll pull up. But, like, look up videos from other drivers, other 
people in the industry and take little tidbits here and there and, you know, help yourself advance in the field. And if you have questions, we're not going to candy coat anything. We're not going to no. um, lie to you. Uh, we pride ourselves on honesty, and we also pride ourselves on if we don't have the answer, we will find the answer. Um, which we're, the next video we're going to do, we're going to talk a little bit about that because I've been having questions and people have been asking me questions about the camera system, and I finally got the answers straight from uh, David White. And so I will be making a video here and posting it probably tomorrow morning. This one will be posted tonight. That one will be posted tomorrow morning. So right. we're going to sit here and make a couple more videos and post them over the next few days. <laughs> so, as always, keep your shiny side up, your rubber side down, your mirrors between the ditches. We'll catch you on the back haul.